Although COVID-19 affects the respiratory system, doctors say that it can also affect our systems and other organs. One rising concern is its ability to cause blood clots. Joining me now is the Director of Cardiovascular Research at the UF College of Medicine, Dr. Dominic Angelilo. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. And when it comes to COVID-19, what do we know about blood clots? Yeah, so since the early phases of the pandemic, uh, one thing that emerged, uh, particularly in, uh, in acutely ill patients, that uh, around 30 uh, to 40 percent of patients uh, were developing uh, blood clots. And uh, this could be in any part uh, of the body, the lungs, the legs, the brain uh, and, and, and the heart. And, uh, and this has led to the implementation of, of protocols in our hospitalized patients uh, to use strategy of thromboprophylaxis, in other words, use of antithrombotics to prevent uh, the development of clots because the development of clots on top of the respiratory disorder is associated with a very, very high mortality rate. And with that being said, what are the biggest concerns? Well, the biggest concerns is not really not at this point for the uh, uh, patients who are uh, hospitalized because we have protocols in place, uh, but it really becomes for the uh, millions of people who have COVID-19 uh, but are not hospitalized and they're at home uh, but remain at risk uh, for developing for developing clots. And this is the reason why we are uh, conducting a, a nationwide uh, study uh, to understand uh, the best ways to uh, reduce the risk of, uh, of clot development in these patients. And can you elaborate a little bit more about that study that you guys are working on? Sure. So uh, we are uh, uh, conducting a trial, which is called Active4, uh, which, which, which has the objective of enrolling uh, 7,000 patients. And uh, the trials are actually rather simple. Uh, we are uh, looking at patients uh, who uh, have COVID-19, who have been diagnosed with COVID-19 within the past 14 days, uh, who have not been hospitalized, so they're not sick enough uh, to be uh, admitted, and uh, randomizing uh, these uh, subjects to different strategies of uh, blood thinning medications, which are standard of care therapies. Um, and uh, just for a short period of time, 45 days, and to evaluate how this will impact uh, uh, outcomes, particularly related to the development of, of clots. Very, very simple. Patients just need to stay at home. Uh, the consent is signed electronically. Uh, there's a centralized system to send the medications. We send the phlebotomist home. We don't want patients uh, wandering around or coming to the hospital. And overall, with, uh, with a safety profile, which we believe is very, very favorable because it's for a limited period of time uh, with uh, approved uh, medications. Is there any risk to the patients during this study? Well, uh, we believe that the risks are minimal because these uh, would be subjects who uh, would be otherwise uh, be rather healthy um, and they're being treated with blood thinning medications uh, that uh, are relatively safe and associated with a low bleeding risk profile also because the duration of the study is just for 45 days and we know that with blood thinning medications the risk of bleeding typically accrues with uh, years of, of, of treatment so we believe that the benefits of participating in this trial uh, strongly outweigh uh, the risk and what i always say the only way that we can uh, learn how to treat the disease and reduce the burden of, uh, uh, of uh, clot developments um, is by participating in a similar trial. If people are interested about learning more about this trial that you guys are working on, is there anywhere that they can go to learn more about it? Yes, you can uh, go on our, our website where we do discuss uh, 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 the trial. And here you see the contact information and a phone number where you can also call. We can send you information uh, uh, about how to participate and provide also further details uh, related, to the, uh, related to the study. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me.